A friendship medal for Russian President Vladimir Putin, awarded for what China says is Putin's outstanding contribution to China's development. It's a sign of ever closer ties between the two men and the two countries. Both announced several business deals, including a joint investment fund in projects in China and Russia. The closer relationship comes at a time when tensions with the U.S. have increased. Both the Russians and Chinese have been sidelined from Tuesday's planned summit between Trump and Kim Jong-un. Despite that, both are keen to show they retain influence over North Korea. We talked about the Korean Peninsula issue. Russia and China both want to see the Korean Peninsula and Northeastern Asia enjoy the peace. We are happy to see that the current negotiation process between the DPRK and the US is in the framework of the roadmap initiated by Russia and China. In recent communications, Pyongyang confirmed to us it will carry out constructive cooperation in the denuclearization. A closer alliance benefits both Russia and China. Russia is accused of meddling in Trump's election and faces sanctions for annexing Crimea. Chinese and American negotiators are trying to avoid a trade war. And China has been criticized and challenged by the U.S. for its increasingly aggressive moves in staking territorial claims in the South China Sea. The agreements signed on Friday go a long way in strengthening that partnership.